What's up? What's up? You said you had some information for me, bro. Yeah, I got a lot. I mean, is there anything you want to know right now, or you just want me to say whatever? Um, like, how do you get out of like, guard pressure? Okay, we can start there. Oh, awesome. So, yeah, so originally, it didn't look like it. It didn't look like you could get out of guard pressure any type of way. But, but, I tried today, maybe like an hour ago, and you're actually able to get out of guard pressure. The thing is, it has to be with against one of the characters like KCM Naruto, where he has a big gap in his block string, right? He does his one, two, three, and then there's a that gap in his combo where he takes a while to hit your guard again. So it has to be against a character that has a big gap in their combo. Yeah, of course. So, like in Storm 4, like, you know, like Donzo or something, you know, when he does that yeah. little kick, right? Well, Donzo is a little different because his block screen is literally like broken. You could just jump out of his combo. But for other characters, like, it's not going to work very well with faster characters. Um, like, they have to have a big gap, you know? Okay. So far that I've discovered. So far that I've discovered, like, it is a demo. There has been, We've got all the characters, right? Yeah, so there's going to be more characters. And it could be something that if you practice a lot, that you'll be able to do it with characters with a little bit smaller gaps in their combo. But um, so far, that it is an option. So what, what do you do? So it's pretty much the same thing as Storm 4, where, you know, some people in the block stream, they will use either the tilt or... The chakra shuriken obviously you can't use the tilt so that's automatically out but you could use the chakra shuriken method where instead of obviously in storm connection there's no chakra shuriken it's a jutsu but you just do the jutsu and you switch out at the same time and you're able to like jump out and evade it and you know get out pretty much so okay yeah. So you have to. Uh, I so don't it know isn't the a game, guys. Shuriken jutsu. I, I, I don't know. Can you explain that? It, it's triangle square. Yeah. All right. So you just press triangle square on the guard stun? Or do you have yeah, to like so, ninja move a little bit? Or you just press yeah, triangle so, square? So a triangle square is how to do the second jutsu, right? Mm -hmm. Before, you know, in Storm 4, it used to be for a chakra shuriken, but they switched what the input is for now. So triangle square is for the second jutsu. And actually, you could do a regular jutsu, and you could switch at the same time. It, it doesn't require um, the second jutsu. So either jutsu you could use and switch out. Okay, so jutsu switch is how you get out of guards then. Interesting. Yep. Yep, but I think it has to be big enough. Right, right. I, I was only doing it on Naruto because he's the only one that has like a very big uh, block string, and I wanted to see if it's possible at all, and it definitely is. So I don't know if it's just for very big uh, gaps in the guard pressure or not. You know, yeah, like on some like <laughs> not, like if Nagato is mashing your guard, like you're not getting out. Like yeah, exactly. Yeah, like you're, you you're know how talking. some people were able to do it because they were they did it so quickly. You know, like I don't know if that's still going to be a thing. Um, come like Storm Connections, a full version. You know, so but all I'm saying is it's actually it's still a possibility. Okay. Yeah, and actually, another thing, too, is uh, I've said this before on my streams that uh, Edo Minato now has iframes on his uh, Rasengan, at least against dashes. He has iframes against dashes. So when Naruto was hitting me like I was in his block string, I was actually able to do Rasengan like in the middle of his combo and just hit him. Before, that wasn't an option in uh, Storm 4. So it's almost like Storm Generations. Like, if people remember back in Storm Generations, like, Kid Kakashi, his Shidori, like, had iframes in the begin in the, uh, for his Jutsu. And so people would be able to just um, use it in between a block stream for, you know, defensive purposes. Okay. And offensive, too, I guess. So, yeah. There is something to do against uh on guard um honest question uh do you think 
this game is a storm for 25. No. You want to know what I think it is? I think it's it's going to play like Storm 3, but with Storm 4, like some mechanics of Storm 4. Like the the game plan in Storm Connection is going to be like the way it was in Storm 3, but it's going to have Storm 4 mechanics. That's what I feel like it is. It's a mix of both. Okay. Yeah. So it's literally connecting Storm 3 and Storm 4. See what I did there? All right. Yeah, that was, that was a little... That was hot. I like how Mark. you did that. Yeah, that was dope. Yeah. That's um, what it feels like because it's a very hyper-offensive game. And and there's a lot of reasons for that, and I could explain that later. But if you want to answer questions, I'm cool with that. Oh, uh, TFK asks, did Falco ever get a chance to test out the Sasuke second G2? I heard it was supposed to be really good against runners. Yeah. It's actually his first Jutsu. Oh. Um, it, yeah, it's a regular jutsu like triangle circle. You know, that's I guess considered the first jutsu. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, that's his uh, jutsu, and I use it a lot. And it's literally like the most OP type of jutsu you could think of because you can't guard it, you can't sub it. If he does it, then you're switching places. There's really nothing you could do. I mean, the only possible thing that I haven't really tried is. What would happen if he did a jutsu and your opponent switched at the same time or something? That's the only thing I could think of, but I didn't, I haven't tried that yet. So, but all I know is for sure, like you can't guard it or sub it. So, oh, does it have like a startup time? Like, is it like slow, pretty yeah, fast, yeah. or like, yeah, if can you tell like he's about to do it before it happens? Um, you could definitely tell. It, it's not a very quick startup. But the thing is, you know, you could disguise it. You could buffer it. There's nothing the opponent could really do to anticipate it because you could jutsu switch and then at any moment, you know. All and right. That's it. Okay, okay, okay. Um, No more Inferno Firewall, I'm guessing? Or is this like a new one? So the thing is, like, for some of these characters... Like, we'll say EMS Sasuke that was in the game. We yeah. know he has, like, other jutsus that he could, you know, use. Like, how there is in Storm 4, option-wise. Like, he has the Shidori, the Fireball. He has a Flame Control. The other version of Flame Control. He has all those jutsus. But in the demo version that I played, um, he was only... There was no, like, switching his jutsus. So, I don't know if it's because the demo version that every character doesn't get all of their, you know, other past jutsus to, like, choose from. I don't know if, you know, like I said, if it's just a demo right now and then, you know, come the game, when we actually get the full game, if there's going to be an option. I would say, yeah, so, so, so right now you can't switch either of those G2s. No, it's not. There's no option for that. Okay. Yeah, because I was yeah, wondering, you like, you know, Sasuke got, like, fucking eight different G2s, right? Like, I would, like, you know, like, map one, like, my first G2 to Chidori and then have, like, Inferno yeah. Flame, you know, or, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that's yeah. Awesome. Yep. yeah there's no option for that yet hopefully i mean I that's, don't know. A lot, is, that's, that's a lot that's a lot of potential bleak. right there you know yeah it's feeling bleak though like we're we've been like we've always known them to you know storm series to always like not deliver at the most important parts like we're like okay we're i'm we're positive that they're gonna you know put that in you know give the characters all their kinds of jutsu like they did in the past game but you know they may not deliver that, and it just may, it just might be like every character are stuck with just these two jutsus, you know. So hopefully, hopefully not. But I'm just saying, it might be like have, uh, like, like how we're supposed to have spectator mode, like as soon as the game release, right? Yeah, and I actually told them that too. I was like, because I was talking to some of the developers there, and I was like, yeah, I, you know, I just don't want this to be like how Storm 4 release was, where, you know, things like we didn't have spectator mode and all these glitches were in the game. They're like, oh, yeah, yeah. You know, they were kind of just agreeing. And I, I don't know if they're bullshitting or not, but. Most likely they're bullshitting. You know they are. I, 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 made them, I, I try to make it as clear as possible. Like, yeah, you guys fucked up. <laughs> yeah. I remember uh, I was talking to Globku and he said uh, he was showing them the tech and they didn't even know it existed. 
Yeah, and that's you know? the biggest problem is they don't even know how to play their own game. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like, yeah, kind of crazy. Um, I had another question. How do we feel about the game? What's your, like your honest like opinion on it? Uh, I Lost think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be fun. I like it so far. Like, obviously, there's still things to be discovered, just like Storm Four. Like, when I was playing with Star Zero Itachi, he showed me, you know, the broken glitch of the game freezing. So wait, he can still do that? Apparently, yeah. Like this, the same way he did it in Storm Four, he just like replicated it and made the game freeze. Yeah, and also that's funny as well. Apparently, there's and I actually showed him that footage, so you know, hopefully they take care of it. But um, also, he showed me Star Zero Itachi showed me that sub banking was still in the game by oh, doing, doing the grab, the grab switching thing. Yeah. But it, I guess it only works if you actually grab your opponent. So. You know, it won't work if you don't get grabbed. So, good and bad, I guess. M- mainly bad, I suppose. But, um, overall, I think it'll be fun. It has a nice, fun, new feel to it. Like, it still, like, feels familiar, like Storm 4, but it's new at the same time. And especially, like, all these newer characters. Very cool, very fun. Like, Sasuke's Jutsu is great. Like, it's there's going to be a lot of creativity coming out. I have some, like, gripes about it, though. Because you guys seen that Jiraiya um, combo thing, right? Yeah. So here's the, big, here's the big problem. If you guys are watching my stream, you know I played some random lady there. She was the one that did that combo. What? That was her. It was, like, on she simple had, controls? or she had, Yeah, it was on simple controls. But the fact that she has huh? never played so many- she had never played Storm in her life, and she was able to pull off a combo like that. Never in her life. That was simple controls? So, yeah. Hold on. Can, can somebody find that tweet real quick? Hold on. Hold on. I, I, I liked it. I liked it. She did that. That wasn't me. I wasn't playing Jiraiya. That was her. Wait she a her. minute. That shit yeah. looked fine. I thought, like, y'all laughed that shit. I ain't going to lie. Like, that shit was No. Kinda... He picked up the remote. It was matching circle and triangle, and she pulled that shit out. I was like, bro. That's the problem I think now we have is if we thought people, if we, if we really think that playing Storm 4 and all the other Storms was like brain dead, like Storm Connection is going to be the most brain dead type of Storm and we're going to get a, such a horrible reputation for it. Hold on. Like, hold on. So that was, that, that was definitely, okay, hold on. Let me, um, I'm going to like pull that up real quick. That- I want to Nobody's watch gonna it again. Any kind of skill, I feel like, like it's gonna be such I a joke. Watch that again. Uh, uh, look at this combo, guys. That shit was kind of fire. I ain't gonna lie. Look, bang, 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 bang. Oh damn! Combo, combo. I don't know how she did oh, that. Like how? Did, like, was, what did she press know. for that? She was probably just mashing buttons and did that. I have no idea. You didn't sub because you just wanted to see what was going on? or did you No, I, have I wanted to let her win. Oh, okay. I don't want to beat her. Your reaction is hilarious. I mean, it, it don't look that crazy, but like, it, that, that shit... It was kind of. It's it because it's dry, you know. You don't expect that from Jiraiya. Yeah. That's all it is. But it's the the fact that she could pick it up and do something like that, and everybody be like, "Wow, that was a great combo." It's like this is coming from a lady in her like middle ages, middle age around, never picked up the game before, and was able to do something like that. And that's what like people won't respect about any type of professional. Or, you know, pro player you want to call for Storm. Like, because the mechanics are so simple. Yeah, I mean, that, obviously, that, it, back, it that little back skill. dash thing into the cancel with the, uh, that shit was kind of high. I ain't going to lie. Like, it's definitely going to take, like, skill to be very, very good and be the best. Obviously, like, everybody knows Storm mechanics are very simple. But um, I think just the fact that anybody could do something like that gives us the stigma of, oh this is a brain dead game everybody that plays is brain dead 
but obviously only we in the community know like the highest level what it really takes to be you know very good yeah. it's not it's not hard to start it's just hard to be very good that's the thing right um did you feel like